hotter than hell. I guess we're getting hotter than we're, hell. We're doing hotter than hell. These uh, ghost pepper burritos in the bag here. Gonna take them back home and uh, try them out. The lady said they uh, smelled really good, so I'm sure the flavor will be really great. It's just about that spice. If we can taste the flavor. Yeah. All right, everybody. Welcome to the ghost pepper burrito challenge. In today's video, I am joined by my friend Jack, and we are gonna be chowing down a special edition mucho burrito ghost pepper burrito. This one is considered hotter than hell, and I'm actually quite excited. I, uh, I've already eaten a ghost pepper in my past, but Jack has not, and he's typically not the biggest fan of spicy food, so I'm excited to see where this goes. Should be exciting. And on top of this, I've actually never had mucho burrito, so uh, this is my first experience. Right away, the actual burrito's really hot itself, and they use this really cool um, red dye in the uh, bread, which is cool. All right, if you're, re if you're ready. Got some milk in this pitcher to drink and load it up in these super soakers. Okay, on the count of three. All right. Three, two, one. I'm feeling it. Woo! I'm eating the whole thing. <laughs> Immediately. Oh gosh. How are you coping? No idea. Oh. Horrible idea. Uh huh. Tastes, tastes alright. A little bit. As soon as I put this back in my mouth, it flashbacks. took flashbacks, man. <laughs> some post-traumatic stress. You know, I wasn't sure. Ah, I wasn't sure if it would taste just like a ghost pepper, but the spice is there. Does it hurt your tongue? Yep. Mm -hmm. I don't want to eat it. Mm. When I first bit into it, there was this huge just gush of liquid. And I think that the sauce is the spicy bit. I just got some on the side, there was just meat and stuff, and that tasted fine. My left eye is like crying. <laughs> just gotta keep pushing, man. Boy, oh boy, this is... Oh, I can't sit still. How are you doing this? Aside from the spice, it tastes good. A little bit. I wouldn't eat it again. Ow! It just hurts. Tears rolling down my face. Ugh. I think this is almost worse than eating a ghost pepper because ghost pepper you can do it all in one bite it hurts and then it's gone and then you're just coping with it I have to keep eating this you're like halfway there <laughs> not even halfway <laughs> how'd you eat it so much Why are you throwing up, dude? What hurts the most? 
I just see the back of my throat. The, the back of your throat? It's all going right down, dude. I'm shoveling this thing in. Like every time you take a bite, you're putting it right down so you don't have to put it on your tongue? Yeah. All right, I gotta eat some more of this. Oh, but I don't want to. <laughs> this is For the viewers, man. This is so hard. Why I do that? <laughs> man, I got a little bit left to go. Well, if this is considered the ghost pepper challenge, I guess you won. I guess so. I honestly didn't think you'd win. Not to be mean or anything, but I've eaten one before, but it just caused post-traumatic stress, and I put it in my mouth, and I was like, here we go again. <laughs> Could not do it. You did it. Congratulations. Thanks, man. Hit me. <laughs> Okay, one more. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Jack's the winner. You have to eat all the rest. No, I'm done. No, I'm done. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember, hit the like button, all that stuff. If you want to see me eat more spicy food, even though I hate it now, I hate it. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed. You know what to do. As always, this was Adam signing off. This is the second project that I made. It was used for this project as well as featured on my YouTube channel. There's a topic of YouTube videos on the internet called food eating challenges. And in this video, I partook in one of those challenges. Mucho Burrito recently released the ghost pepper burrito for a limited time only. And seeing as I had eaten a ghost pepper before with a friend and it got hilarious results, I thought it would be very fun to make a cool video, show it to my fans and also submit it for this project. I picked a friend for this video who notoriously doesn't like spicy food, but he kicked my butt. Quite honestly, this project wasn't too out of the box for me. I kind of played it safe, and I'm sure I could have done a little bit more, but I think that's why it's so good. You know, I really stuck to my guns and did what I knew I could do, and sure enough, it produced a pretty good product in my mind. Again, it would have been a little bit better if the guy who was eating it with me did not like the spicy food, but, uh... No, I, you know, I stuck to my Final Cut Pro that I use, did some nice happy music, and then when they eat, when it came time to uh, chow down, it got very intense, and it's just a nice exercise of what I already know. I'm really proud of the intro of this video. I think anyone who hasn't stumbled onto my channel or something, they may take me more seriously than I am. I think the intro is fairly professional. Looks like some professional food reviewer has going into Mucho Burrito, and, uh, when I put together that intro, it was one of those things where I didn't want to move on in the video. I just kept watching that intro over and over again saying, yeah, this is good. So I was really proud of that. As far as the biggest challenges I encountered creating the project, it was, you know, the worst part was really the next day after I ate the burrito. I gotta say, I'd always heard rumors of spicy food. And when I ate a ghost pepper prior to that, I ate a bunch of bread with it and it didn't hurt that bad. But the next day after this burrito... I looked up online and apparently everyone was having the same problem as I. It's a it's a real challenge the next day. Well, let's let's just leave it at that. And if I had to do this again, this project again, if I ever have to do a spicy food eating challenge again, <laughs> I will a drink less milk because it makes me puke, especially when it's three percent homogenized milk. And I'll probably get a bigger group of people, make it more entertaining, and uh, cut out a lot of the boring filler nonsense. That's it for the video analysis of my ghost pepper eating burrito challenge video. And that's it for this project. I hope you enjoyed this channel I put together. It's a very interesting way of submitting this project. I, I really hope it's not too confusing. But other than that, that is it. And uh, I bid you good day.